Oh, it is the most wonderful time of the year. Here it is, here it is. So hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today, exciting day, 10 days before Christmas, and Christmas came early. That's right, I got the gift that keeps on taking. So, uh, don't really know where to start. Wasn't looking for a new vehicle. Just got one a month ago, and this thing popped up. Couldn't say no. Couldn't really afford it, but I couldn't afford not to buy it. So, with that being said, let's not waste any time. Let's go take a look at it. Find out everything that's wrong with it, which there is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, this is beyond my skill set, but that's how you learn. Working on it and, well, watching other people's YouTube videos. So let's go take a gander. Nineteen seventy-three Ford Bronco. Custom. Everything about this thing is custom. Starting with the custom door handles. And yes, these are matched. I have a Phillips head on the other side. To the custom Tonawa cover. Not really sure what this is off of. But, I'm not going to lie, kind of like it. We have a custom gas tank. And yeah, this frame is all boogered underneath in the back. The front is not bad. What is this, a baking sheet? That'll be coming out. Yeah, this is glued on. I'll be taking that off. This, this scares me a little bit. I feel like this is about to fall off any minute. So that'll be getting cut out. So yeah, let's just take a walk around this thing. Find out everything that's wrong with it. You know, for the most part, you know, a lot of the panels are new. As you can see, nice. But the Raptor liner, that's going to take some work getting all that off. I can only hope that there was a very, very poor primer job and that it'll flake right off. But you know what? It doesn't matter. If I have to, I'll get all new fenders and whatnot. Hood's in pretty decent shape. Body lines are all out of whack. And you can see the hood sticks up here. Looks like it might have a little arch to it or a curve. Grill looks savable. Front bumper, I don't think those are stock bolts. So, let's take a look inside. I'll show you some of the reasons why I did buy this. So inside, we ain't got a lick of electronics in it. Except for the key. That's it. But, down here, a whole new floor throughout the entire thing. And in the back, a whole new floor back here. So that's a bonus. I mean, obviously we have to patch in the sides, clean it all up. There is going to be a lot of cutting and welding here and there, which is going to test out my welding skills. We do have new sills here, which is good. New pillars here, which is good also. Although we're probably going to go with the, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you call them side pods or what you call them. This obviously has to come out. It was advertised as a 69, but turns out it's a 73. I did buy this truck with no title, which is why I got it for the price that I got it for. But I've redone cars with no title. It's about a three month process and this is gonna take a little longer than three months. So back to the custom stuff. We have a nice custom stopper here for the window since there's no hardware whatsoever in it. But like I said, I'm probably going to be taking the doors off of this. Top, that's probably going to go as well. Uh, probably go with the big roll cage with the bimini top. Yeah, underneath the thing, I mean, it's old. It's got rust. You know, it has been coated here and there, as you can see. We got this nice custom flex pipe on the exhaust. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, here's the fuel line, which touches the exhaust. Gonna have to fix that. But the front's not bad. You know, like I said, all new floor, all new body mounts. 
rockers. Well, it's missing one on the other side. Frame in the front. Yeah, it's rusty and crusty. This does have power steering, which makes it a bonus. And let's just go open up the top. So, new firewall also. That's going to save me a lot of time. I guess it was just rusted out really bad. You know, typical 302 motor. You know, half the uh, new gaskets, you can tell. Half the uh, manifold bolts are missing. New plugs, new wires, new uh, coupler here. Like I said, the only wiring hooked up is to the ignition. I'm not really sure if this coil is supposed to go right here. I have to Google that, I guess. But yeah, overall, not too bad. I mean, any Bronco enthusiast, they know trucks like these, they go for like 12 or 15 grand. And I didn't pay anywhere near that. Again, custom handle. I do have spare door. I do have a spare, uh, I do have the glove box cover, which has the VIN number on it, which I do need for DMV. Custom power seats. Don't know what these are out of. You know, not hooked up anyway. But they're set to where I need them. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's fire her up. This is the biggest bonus. Runs and drives. So I can move it around while I'm working on it. And it actually doesn't sound bad. It has MagnaFlow mufflers on it. It actually sounds like it runs pretty good. It's a little scary though because it has no brakes. Or I should say it has very little brakes. Back brake lines are completely cut. And as you can see, closed off. Front brake line, pretty sure that's not stock. But for my purposes, it'll get me around for right now custom windshield gotta love this we got some wood we actually have a windshield out of something i noticed over here it said tempered glass on it so this is not just acrylic i don't know if you guys can see that or not we'll find out and uh the custom tanawa i don't know what this came from i did notice that it was all boogered together here I mean, I kind of like it. I'll leave it on there for right now. But yeah, this is pretty much going to get thrown away. So, yeah, I just got this. It got dropped off about an hour ago. I bought it on Sunday. Today's uh, December 15th. It's Tuesday. And we're going to get this thing in the garage and start taking it apart. So, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to find a lot of goodies here and there as we uh, go a little bit further. But that's why I got it. You know, I mean, uh, the whole purpose of us starting our channel, Cross Country Garage, is so we could both be doing builds in uh, two different locations, basically on two different coasts. So, yeah, I've been kind of slacking for the last six months or so, but here we are. I got something to keep me busy for at least the next six months. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow along, and let's see where this thing ends up. Who knows? I mean, we're going to have to come up with a name for it. Right now, I'm thinking booger. If I feel like I get in over my head, maybe I'll just rename it flip. Because uh, definitely going to be money to be made here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to buy the inner fender wells. These skins are new at least. So it's got some parts. I got to go back. I uh, do have a windshield for it that I got along with the sill. Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the open top Bronco. Big roll cage, bimini top. So I'm not really worried about the doors or all the components and all that other shit that cost me money. Rims and tires, these are the wrong ones. As you can see underneath, they almost hit the shocks. They are close. They might even be hitting. Who knows? But this thing ain't going anywhere. So, all right. I think that's just about do it. This is just a short little video to keep you guys interested. And uh, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I mean, did I get in over my head here? I don't know. We're going to find out. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. Catch you later.
So if you loyal viewers that know to stick around, check out the end credits of our videos. If you were curious as to what I paid, because I'm not going to say this to everybody. There you go. I paid less than that. And yeah, dude's phone was blowing up the whole time I was there.